Hi everyone and welcome to our weekly portion here at eTeacherGroup.com. This week's portion is Bishalach and it can be found in the book of Exodus from chapter 13 verse 17 to chapter 17 verse 16. Let us open the Torah scroll and meet our portion. Vayahi Bishalach paro et ha'am velo nacham Elohim Derech Eretz Plishtim Kikarov Hu Ki Amar Elohim Peninachem Ha'am Birotam Milchama Veshavu Mitzrayma The portion is named Bishalach, literally when Pharaoh let the people go, because it begins with telling us of the route the Israelites took when leaving Egypt. Let us understand the first verse together. Vayahi, and it came to pass. Bishalach paro, when Pharaoh had let go. Etaam, the people. Velo nacham, did not lead them. Elohim, God. Derech, by the way of. Eretz, the land. Plishtim, the Philistines. Ki, although. Karovhu, that was near. Ki, for, Amar Elohim, God said, Pen, lest, Yinachem Ha'am, the people repent, Birotam, when they see, Milchama, war, Veshavu, and return, Mitzrayma, to Egypt. The portion begins with telling us that when the Israelites left Egypt, they did not take the short route by a Philistine country because God did not want them to be alarmed by the local wars and flee back to Egypt. Instead, they went via the Sinai Desert. We are also told that Moses took Joseph's bones with him, as Joseph requested before his death. After having released the Israelites, God again hardens Pharaoh's heart, and he decides to chase after them. The Israelites, who are on the shores of the Reed Sea, are alarmed and accuse Moses of having led them to their deaths. Moses promises salvation from God. He is then ordered to raise his staff on the sea so that it will part in two. Moses does so and the Israelites pass through the sea with walls of water on either side of them. After the Israelites pass, Pharaoh's troops are drowned in the sea. Moses and the Israelites then sing a song of praise to God. After they finish singing, Miriam, Moses' sister, leads the women in a song and dance of praise as well. After leaving the reed or Red Sea, the Israelites begin to wander in the desert and for three days they cannot find water. When they finally find water, it is undrinkable because it is bitter. Moses performs a miracle according to God's orders and the water becomes sweet. When they continue to travel, the Israelites complain bitterly because they have no food, saying that they were better off with the abundance of Egypt. This is when Moses announces that God will give the people manna which will come down from the sky so that they will have food. On the Sabbath there will be no manna, and therefore they must collect double on Fridays, but on all other days of the week they must collect only what they need, and any extras will become inedible by the next day. A jar of manna is kept by Moses and Aaron for posterity. Already now, at the beginning of the wanderings in the desert, we hear of yet another case when the Israelites complained because they had no water. Moses then strikes a rock and draws water from it. All these complaints are understood as a sign of lack of faith in God and anger Moses. The portion ends with the war of the Israelites against the Amalekites, which they win thanks to divine assistance. Moses raises his hands to God, and as long as they are raised, Israel prevails. Joshua leads the people in the war. God commands Moses to commemorate the war and destroy the Amalekites. That's all for this week. We hope to see you again next week. Have a great week.